you know, speaking of headwinds, it's not just malls dealing with that. It looks like not even Ted Lasso can save the day here because my triple play is Apple. Shares are slumping today, roughly in line with the NASDAQ Composites. 2% drop on the heels of a new note from UBS. The bank saying Apple TV Plus adoption appears to have stalled in the U.S. with just 22% of iPhone owners subscribed to the streaming service. Now, those numbers are based on an annual UBS survey. They are in line with pre-COVID results, but slipped compared to 2021. And guys, it's not just Apple TV Plus, Netflix, Amazon, Prime Video, Hulu, all seeing declines in iPhone penetration since 2020. But HBO Max has actually seen some pretty solid results. And Dave, I know you're a big fan of some of the Apple TV Plus programming. Huge. So I'm curious to, to hear what you think of these results and whether or not this is maybe an indication that you really need that deep library, a lot of original programming to keep users interested. This can offer a counter opinion because I think Apple's content spend is about a third of yes. Netflix. I think what they're doing is really targeted uh, spend in the content space. I don't know about you guys, but when I get on Netflix, there's just a sea of stuff. I don't know how to find anything. I end up getting back off. No one can tell me what to watch. But on Apple TV, it is much more targeted. Yes, two of my favorite shows, the two best shows on TV, I believe, Ted Lasso and Shrinking, <laughs> mm -hmm. are there. They don't buy a ton of stuff but the stuff they do really fits a certain thread and serves a certain type of audience. I think both those shows will do well. Uh, Ted Lasso is coming in here. And then Friday, MLS, Major League Soccer, starts. Another targeted buy, small live sports buy. And I think I'm really curious to see how well that does. A niche soccer audience comes aboard, fits my trend of targeting programming. It does fit your trend there. And I am on board with shrinking. You recommended that to me. We started Terrific. watching it. I do love it. But I would have to agree if you do take a step back, it doesn't simply have the content library, obviously, that some of its competitors have. Whether or not that is a strategic move, like you're saying, I think we'll find out here over the next several quarters. What also stuck out to me in this note here from UBS was the risk of churn when it comes to Apple TV Plus because the lack of subscribers there that have the auto renewal yeah. just in terms of every month. Only 51% of Apple TV Plus subscribers utilize that auto renewal feature, which is about 10% to 15% less than t compared to some of its competitors out there. So you have to think, if you think about every single month, whether or not you are going to renew, it's very, very smart personal finance wise, mm -hmm. but obviously right. for some of these streamers, that could be a huge risk going forward.